Hey creators, how's it going? You ever wonder what's more important? If it's actually the destination or the journey how to get there? Um, this is official U.S. Army duck duck tape, although I think it's supposed to be duct tape, and I think it's actually Canadian. So, anyway, thanks, Wade, for the duck tape. You see, there's a saying, and I mean, I'm sure you've heard this before, but the real lessons in life don't come from the destination. It comes from the journey. Do you set goals for yourself? When I look at my life, I think that I've set some goals and I think they're in the future. But what happens if you have like this huge goal, this dream that you wanna do and you get it? What do you do next? Is that what's actually gonna make you happy forever? What happens when that goal gets completed? I think goals are actually a very good thing and I think it's important to have long-term goals, but I also think it's just as important, maybe even more so, to have short-term ones. Then, there's a third category I wanna talk about. I think it's super important to have goals that are a little more open-ended. Ones that you can push yourself to jump into, but you don't actually know where it's gonna take you. To me, that goes back to the thing about exploring I talked about, which I'll link up in one of these corners. Explorers didn't really know where they were going. They might have told people they had an idea, but truly, they didn't really know. And so when I think about this, I think about people that have achieved major life goals and when they hit it, when they get it, when they land the thing that they wanted, what else do I do? Because it doesn't take long to realize we're meant to always be giving. My friend Tavis is here. We're gonna go take some pictures in the freezing. That's Tavis. Hello. As you can tell, he loves Russia. <laughs> Tavis here works on those, so he knows where to go. Do you wear that hat when you are um, driving the trains? Not usually. Do you call it driving trains? Most of the time. Oh, all right. I thought you had some sort of clever uh, name. Lots of engineers call it running an engine. Oh, running an engine, running of an course. Engine. But if I call it driving an engine, they're like, no, you don't. You drive a car, you run an engine. So I'm like, well. Train guys. Train guys. Still uh, looking at trains in the cold. It's really cold. It's the highest point in the prairies, right there. Except for that point there, which is also higher, but. The second highest point in the prairies. I think we're meant to do a lot. I think we're meant to do a lot more than we even give ourselves credit for. Which is interesting because when you hit a big goal, you think, well, I made it. Now I should say that maybe you're one of the ones that you hit that big goal and that was it. It was completely satisfying. I've talked to many, but that isn't the case. They hit that goal and then a couple years later, they feel empty. They just hit cruise control. They hit the mode where they could just go on kind of mindlessly and never push themselves again. And what we realize is, is you know, the work maybe it seems is actually the fun part. Let me say this, some people need to work harder. Some people might need to take a step back. But more importantly, the real thing is, is that we're meant to do more. We're meant to create more. We're meant to impact more. I think we're supposed to be giving something out constantly. And any time that our mind or our body hits that cruise control mode, probably not healthy. Actually, I think it's probably extremely unhealthy. I know because even physically, as you hit like the couch and you never want to get up, it doesn't do good for your physical body 
So how much more not doing something creatively, not releasing something that way, how much more does that affect you? Check one. Hey, look, I'm using this as a regular microphone. I need a haircut, so I'm gonna go do that right now. Cause this is a mess and... Here I am at uh, Steph's house. You might remember her from another show. Yeah, so I'm gonna go get my hair cut. My hair's cut. Because when you go get a haircut, you don't get just one haircut, you get all your hairs cut. So it should be called, I'm getting my hairs cut. I digress. Look at this dog! I don't love you anymore. All right, bye Steph. Bye. Thanks. See you later. Yep. Goodbye. really asking the question. Maybe we're meant for something more. Maybe we're meant to live for something more. That's up to you to decide. I would like you to leave the comments below. Tell me what you think. I don't care what kind of angle you come from. This is an open place where we can discuss this kind of stuff. And so the door is open for you right now, maybe even to kind of voice how you feel. Maybe you feel like you're not giving anything anymore. Maybe you feel like you've hit that big goal and, oh, I'm lost, I don't know what to do. This is an opportunity for you to get it off your chest. Maybe there's someone that you'll meet that's gone through this before. I've made some great connections with people that I never even knew before. So I encourage you to reach out right now. Let us know what you think. So maybe you're one of the ones that does feel that way, that feels like you've achieved this big thing and you don't know what's next. Uh, how do I really, how do I get back that drive and that passion I had before? How do I become obsessed with achieving this goal again when I've already done the thing I wanted to do? We gotta take one step at a time. Be the creator you're meant to be. Everybody's capable of creating something. It doesn't really matter what it is, it's not the point. The point is, is that you start to feel again what it's like to give out from yourself. Like I mentioned before, lay on the couch, letting everything wash over us day after day after day after day, it kills us. It drives us crazy. Feeling like we have no purpose in life, possibly one of the worst things to feel. The only thing that's really going to change that is for us to start giving back. Even if it's something small, it doesn't have to be this huge event that you created even 10 years ago that you've already achieved. It can be something small that you can do right now, today. Reach out to the people that you love. Reach out to the people around you. Create something even if no one else sees it. Remember what it feels like to give. Thanks to all the creators that give your valuable time to listen to this. Share your thoughts, share your heart about the struggle that you're going through. Let's work together to help each other. Don't be discouraged today. Know that it's a journey and a process, but it's also one step at a time. And you can't really rush that process along. You just have to do what you feel is inside of you to give. I'm here with you. I'm going through the same things, feel the same way. I know that we're capable of so much more. I'm not gonna let that discourage me. I'm gonna let it drive me to the next destination. And after that, I'm gonna go to another one, and another one, and another one. Our lessons really come from the journey, and not from the destination. <laughs>